A high profile case going to the UK's highest court. Was it legal for Prime Minister Boris Johnson to suspend Parliament for five weeks in the lead up to Brexit? That question now before Britain's Supreme Court. Johnson got the OK from the Queen to suspend or prorogue Parliament starting last week through to October 14th. Lawmakers are now scheduled to return about two weeks before the UK is set to leave the European Union October 31st. Critics and opposition say the move is aimed at silencing debate over Johnson's plan to make Brexit happen with or without a deal. Opponents want Johnson to recall MPs immediately. Johnson insists the shutdown would give him time to introduce a new legislative agenda. Did you lie to the Queen when you advised her to prorogue to suspend Parliament? Absolutely not. Last week, Johnson denied misleading the Queen over why he wanted the suspension. The monarch must formally order the prorogation. Oh. Also last week, Scotland's highest court ruled the closure was unlawful, following an opposite decision from the High Court of England and Wales. That this is a serious and difficult question of law is amply demonstrated by the fact that three senior judges in Scotland have reached a different conclusion from three senior judges in England and Wales. What will happen if the top court finds that the PM's advice to the Queen was unlawful? Here's what a lawyer for the government told the judges. The Prime Minister will take all necessary steps to comply with any declaration made by the court. A ruling is expected likely by the end of the week. And keeping with all things Brexit, a dry run was carried out at the French-British border. Officials at the Channel Tunnel ran a test Tuesday of customs and health checks, checks that would be necessary in case of a no-deal Brexit. French customs authorities say they've been preparing for such a scenario for nearly two years and say they're confident that they're ready. But some drivers are concerned there'll be long waits on both sides.